Well, let's talk about program events. In order to be able to troubleshoot errors, it's important to know where they occur during the execution. It will guide you to the most probable location of, it, of the error. A program is divided in sessions, called events, each one with a certain purpose. The most important ones I will tell you now, uh, in the same order that they are called. So pay attention to the order. For executable programs or reports, they are at selection screen. So I have here on the screen a program. I will navigate to the source code by clicking system, status. And then I have here the program name. I will double click the program name. Great. So the first one that I will show you is selection screen. Selection. Great. So let me scroll down a bit so that you can see it better. This is where a screen is validated to uh, assuring consistency. For example, I might want to assure that the company code entered by user really exists before taking any action. So this is where it takes place. The second one, let me search and show you. It's a start of selection. Again, scrolling up a little bit. Uh, it contains the standard processing block of an executable program. It's triggered at runtime run time by the system when the program is executed just after the selection is at selection screen. When selection screen is completed and consistent, consistent sel a start of selection is called in sequence. The next one, end of selection. Okay, great. So end of selection is triggered when predefined database selection, call it logical database, is complete or right after start of selection ends. The next one I will talk to you about is at user comment. At user comment is an event triggered from a selection screen when a customer defined function is chosen. Ex executing this program, for instance, let me run this program. So going back a little bit, I was on the source code. I just clicked on uh, F8 or direct processing. Um, so this is this program uses a logical database with a kind of predefined selection. So it will bring to me these fields and we will access the database tables. I don't have to code this. But you can see here on the bottom that it has some buttons. They are defined um, by the, the developer and they are specific to this program. The uh, difference here is that uh, when I click one of these buttons and you can see that when I click further selections it expands a block that was originally hidden from me, a uh, system might be able to understand which action is being triggered by user. So to each of these buttons, uh, there are a uh, um, command assigned to them. We can also call a, a function assigned to them. And when I click this, um, we have the action, the specific action or command assigned it to a system variable that we've seen before, which is SciUcom. And this action can be treated by the event at user command. So system captures this action and then I, I can treat it accordingly. What's the difference between customer-defined actions and standard actions. For instance, 
the um, back button. Standard actions will be handled completely by standard SAP, but customer defined ones, the developer must tell the system how to behave when a certain action is chosen. So, um, as I explained it, when I click here, this button has a function code assigned to it. It is transferred to SciUcom and then developer can test. Okay, so if user click it on further selections button, so let's expand the corresponding session. The other uh, thing that I'll show you, it's the, they are events related to screen programs which are a bit different. So the ones that I have for screen programs and let me call here one of them VA03. So I just enter it here is slash n to n this current transaction code and then the system will execute VA03. Let me hit enter. Okay great so this is VA03 to display sales orders. Uh, what I will do, I will navigate to the e screen so that I can show you. So I will do this by clicking on um, system, then status. And see, we have here the program and a screen name, a screen number, I'm sorry. So let me double click this number. And great, we have here the next, uh, th indeed this is this one. So we have process after input, also call it BAI. This screen uh, event is triggered by user and might need handling by the program. When BAI is triggered, contents of the screen fields are transferred to system variables or work areas of the same name in a BAP program. Remember, we saw this before when we talked about selection screen criteria in screen programs. Next event is process before output. Process before output is also known as PBO. This is a screen event triggered by the system before the screen is presented to user. Here, the system behaves the other way around, so transferring the variable the variable values to the selection screen fields of the same name to be able to present to user so talking specifically about this transaction code um, when user uh, before presenting or, or le let's go to, to the beginning so I am on the selection screen and I trigger, trigger an action. So at the beginning, I just have the field name or the field value on the screen. At that moment, system transfers the values to these variables, which have the same name of the screen fields so that I can give proper trade treatment. The process before output is really the other way around. So. Uh, I have already processed and I maybe I have new values for these fields and what I need is transfer the variables or value values to the screen fields of the same number so that a user can get updated values. <laughs> 